Hi everyone, welcome again to our new session of the AWS that is Amazon Web Services. In this session, I will explain you about Amazon Web Services workspaces. Myself, Deepak Rai, I am going to explain you about different aspects of workspaces which is used in Amazon Web Services tech or that is called as DSS that is Desktop as a Service. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Here we begin with actual component of AWS Workspace. So, first of all, what is AWS Workspace? AWS Workspace enables you to create virtual cloud-based desktop which can be of Microsoft Windows or Amazon Linux for our users. These desktops are also known as a workspace. We need to install hardware or complex software which is a huge benefit and also it will minimize our costing. We can add or remove multiple users as and when required and they can access these workspace with any devices like mobile devices or Mac or you can use it for desktop. This is fully managed desktop computing services in the cloud that allows its customers to provide cloud-based desktop at their end users. Though this is the end users can access the documents, applications and resources using devices of their choices such as laptops, iPad, Kindle Fire or Android tablets. Each workspace is a persistent Windows Server 2008 R2 instance that looks like Windows 7 hosted on the AWS cloud. Desktops are streamed to users via PCOIP and the data backup will be taken on every 12 hours by default. But that will, you can configure it according to your requirement. So if you want to configure it for 18 hours, you can do that. But by default, every 12 hours, this will backed up your contain and data. So let's see what the features are available. After that, we'll create some workspace in Amazon Web Services login credential and configure the component for our required services. So there are several features are available, but I'm listing the important one, which will minimize our costing perspective as well as it will secure our data in terms of services and our billing cycles also reduces. Even though you can take a backup according to your requirement. So whenever we are operating systems like Windows or Amazon Linux and select from the range of hardware configuration, software configuration, AWS regions. When we will connect to our workspace and pick up from Right where we left off, Amazon Workspaces provides a persistent desktop experience. Amazon Workspace provides the flexibility of either monthly or hourly billing of workspace. But in free time, we can also use that for limited instance. Deploy and manage application for our Windows Workspace by using Amazon Workspace application that is Amazon WAM. You can also call as Workspace Application Manager. For Windows Desktop, we can bring our own license and application or purchase them from the AWS Marketplace for desktop apps. When we create a standalone managed directory for our users or connect our workspace to our on-premises directory so that we can easily access our data in site or premises. We don't need to keep the data on the cloud as well. Use the same tools to manage workspace that we use to manage on-premises desktops. Use multiple factor authentications that is MFA for additional security. Use AWS key management services that is KMS to encrypt data at risk which will secure our data in terms of encrypted data you can get it. So this input or output and volume snapshots is also available. 
we can control IP addresses from which users are allowed to access their workspace. So, before discussing to the advantages of the workspace, let's move to our credentials where we can create our Amazon workspace. So, I've already logged in. So, whenever you go to services inside end user computing, computing, you can get workspaces. Once you click on this, we are able to get workspace console. Over there, you can create your own workspace and configure according to your requirement. So, once you click on the get started, you are able to see quick setup or advanced setup. So, let me do that for the quick setup. So, if you are using Windows 10 or any other services and you are having some specific type of memory, you can use it. So, uh, you can see here, three services are eligible for the free for Windows 10 up uh, that is performance value and Windows 10 offices. Uh, otherwise, you can use it. The, this was standard with the Windows 10. So, let me select this. You have to create your username according to your requirement just I am creating here as a DRI so my name is Deepak last name is Rai and some sort of information we need to provide uh, in bundle services you can use the standard with the Windows 10 PC UIP that is the standard uh, the language you can uh, by default it's your login language create an additional account if you want to add any other user you can go ahead and create otherwise click on launch workspace okay so we have to provide our email id as well so i am giving here as the right at the rate gmail.com now you can see it started creating your workspace has been Launch with the workspace console. So once you click on this, you're able to see your workspace has been launched. Now your workspace has been launched. Up. So starting from July 20th, Amazon workspace will using a new license certificate. These certificates are compatible. So it is totally dependent on your uh, uh, login credentials it will update according to your requirements so directory services you can see here it will create a directory and uh, there's uh, the other services like IP access controls and the bundles which bundles you are using images if you have added any images sort of images you can use this and there is a package are also available for application management and usage so after doing these actions like uh, you can create your BAM according to your concepts and require control access or track usage. So if you are using a multiple login just like a group login so you can track and record of the user which is doing the activities. So after this if you want to install an specific software like workspace for Amazon download this after installing this you have to use your local your credentials and login with this so once you log in with this you are jumped to this portal and you started uh, using your Amazon workspace services so don't worry about this the link I will provide in the description tab you can click on this and once you will go depends on your uh, systems and configuration you can download it and after downloading just follow the instructions uh, for installation once installation is done you will able to get a login page from the login page enter your username and password after entering the username and password it will connect to your AWS cloud services so this is how we can create it and install it an application in our desktop or any devices for our desktop as a software services so this is also called as desktop as a software services because we are using the services from our personal desktop directory and other information so at any point of time if we want to disconnect or we want the 
actual data to be protected, we can use it for this. So there's a several other components you can configure according to your requirement like manage application catalog, control user access like if you want to add any ad additional users or delete any additional user, you can do that by clicking on this. So let's move to the advantages of this. So it will reduce your cost because in one login we are using a group of user and we don't want to create the multiple users. So just like as a website, if in an MNC organization we are working with a website which contains or which is required to be uh, shared the credential with the multiple users, then we can use it. And for the InfoSec perspective, we can log in with our desktop only. So control our desktop resources like CPU, the memory and other parts, we can do that. So keep our data secure, we can secure our data inside our, uh, what you can say in the organization, they are using the uh, network drives. So you can keep your data inside the network drives. So it offers flexible desktop OS deployment. So you can use it either Mac, Mac or uh, Windows 7 or Windows 10. Uh, it's totally dependent on requirement or system configuration and organization perspective even if you can use it in Linux as well. So it is centrally managed devices and use our same directory for performance or other activities. So this is all about the Amazon workspace. So let's recap this. We have started with the basic concept of the Amazon workspace. Then we have seen the features. So several features are available. Uh, we can use it for this. Then we have created one workspace and installed the application in our desktop for connecting with our cloud credentials. Then we have discussed about the advantage. And now we are done with Amazon workspace. So hope you understand it. If you have any queries or comment, please comment in the comment section so that I will check and reward with the resolution. And most important part, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for the latest update. Thank you.